So for this video, what we're going to be doing is creating links on our links page, and we're going to also look at our contact page and make sure that's all working fine. Now, what is a link? A link is essentially where you click on it, it takes you to a different place. So imagine that I have my uh, website here publish and I'm in preview mode. Every time I hit one of these buttons, whether it be home or visual composition or graphics tools, um, that's a link. It's a link, although inside of our actual web page. Now we can definitely link to outside of our page to different sites and that's what we're gonna do for this particular video. So some of the links that we're gonna create are gonna be to the uh, sites of the programs in which we actually use those uh, pieces of software. All right, so what I've actually done is I've gone ahead and I've typed in Photoshop icon because yes, we've used Photoshop in this course. And so what I plan to do is grab one of the icons and I just want one of the thumbnail images. I usually like the full size image, but we really don't need that because we're gonna actually be shrinking that down. So I'm just gonna just do a right click on the thumbnail and I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna save this particular image. Now I can't copy and paste this into a web page because Wix needs the actual file itself. So let's go ahead and just do a quick file save as. All right, so I'm just going to go PS icon, and this is going to be in my downloads folder. All right, so going back into Wix here, what I plan to do like anything else is I want to add. And then I'm going to actually go into the image. And then what we want to do is we want to do an image upload. All right, so like anything else, we can just do the drag and drop like we usually do. So let me go into my downloads, and I know I have a whole bunch of other stuff in here. And I'm looking for specifically this icon right here. So let me just move that over and do a quick click and drag. Okay, great, let's go ahead and add that to the page. And since our icon is probably too big for what we want, I'm gonna hold down the shift button so I can strain the X and Y, and let's make this a little bit smaller here, just like that. Okay, so that's the very first icon that we're gonna add in here. Now make that just a little bit smaller. Now normally I would make this into a pop-up, but I really don't need to see the full size image on this. Full size images on the pop-ups are typically when we actually go ahead and uh, have like something with higher resolution or something with more detail. So I'm just gonna leave it as a link opens and nothing else. All right, so what else I wanna do here is I actually wanna go ahead and take my text and I'm gonna take that text and I'm gonna actually put in the word Photoshop because we're gonna create a link for not only the actual uh, text, but we're gonna also do that for the image too. So let's edit this text here. And I'm just gonna delete a whole bunch of the stuff because remember, I'm just copying and pasting text boxes. So I have the same formatting all the time. So I'll type in the word Photoshop. And maybe I'm gonna make this a lot smaller too. Uh, let's put this down to maybe 20 points. Try that again at 20 points. Great. Uh, maybe a left alignment. And I will just type in a little short description. Um, is a raster based image editing program. That is an industry standard used by professionals. And that should pretty much do it. All right, let's close that off here. Okay, so I've got the foundation of my links, but I haven't quite added them as of yet. So using or creating links is actually really easy. Now I want this when you click on it, or I want this word Photoshop itself to take you to the actual Photoshop website. So let's actually go and grab that URL. And let's go to the actual Adobe homepage with Photoshop. There it is. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this URL, then do a right click, and I wanna copy the link. Going back into my Wix page, let's go ahead and click on the image, and then what I wanna do here is look for the little link icon and click on that. So we're creating a link but what we're gonna actually do is instead of a page on our website, we're gonna change that to a web address. So as soon as I click on this, it says right here, what is the web address or URL pasted here? We've already copied it. Let's do a quick paste and click on done. All right, same thing on the text. Let me edit the text. I just want this one word Photoshop here to be the link. I don't want the whole sentence to. So I'm just gonna click and highlight on this word here. Works exactly the same way. I'm gonna look for the link. Same thing, web address. 
and let's paste it right over here and done. Um, it will open it in, in a new window or a new tab here and that's what I personally like to, or prefer. So we're going to keep that setting and click on done. And you'll see that that Photoshop is actually underlined and that link is being created. But like anything else, we have to test everything out. So let's go and do a save. A publish. And last but not least is a preview. All right, so if I do a mouse over here and click on the text of Photoshop, it takes me right to the website. Let's also test out the image. And I'm just gonna clean up my tabs here. Click on that and again, it works. So when you're doing your links, you will require three in total at the grade 10 level, uh, at the grade 10 level, and then you'll require another three at the grade 11 level. Um, but what you're required to do here is make sure that you have an icon of the program, text that you can also click on, and just a brief description. Now, if you recall, the other programs that we use in this course include Illustrator, Animate, 3ds Max, or you could actually maybe use some other or equivalents. Um, some people don't always use Photoshop or Illustrator uh, or even Animate. Some people have used Toon Boom in the past or Maya instead of 3ds Max. So, you know, you get to decide which ones that you want to include in here nonetheless. Okay, so let's go back to the editor and that concludes the links portion. So you're gonna have to finish this off with two other links. And now what we're gonna do is look at the contact page. So going over to the contact page, You'll see right over here that I have a form automatically generated, and I also have this right here um, that I have to change too. Now, I've added a little bit of information on the contact page, so please feel free to contact me with questions or concerns or just to touch base uh, using either the form or the email um, address link. So any good contact page has either a form or an email link. I don't need to do anything with this because if somebody's on my website and they fill this all out and then hit the submit button, it's gonna go automatically to the email address that I registered the site with. However, what I need to do is I need to look at this and also look down at this and kind of change this up here. So in doing so, I'm gonna edit the text. Now, if you wanna put your cell phone number, that's completely up to you, I don't recommend it. Otherwise, you're gonna have some crazy calls from Azerbaijan or Belarus or whatever. So yeah, that's my advice to you. All right, and now I'm gonna go ahead under the email and I'm going to change this to my teaching email address. So that's that one. Same thing over here. Under the contact, I'm gonna edit this and I'm gonna change this here to, again, my email address. Great, and I'm just gonna copy that email address, just like that. Okay, so when I have text selected, you'll notice that my text setting panel opens up, and you'll notice I also have a link right over here too. So I can actually link this email address so it actually works with your smartphone and say uh, an email program that you have. Now, instead of actually doing a page or a web address, you'll notice that we actually want to link this to an email. So let's click on this email part, and what is the email address? Well, the email address is right here and I've copied it. Now I plan to paste it, click on done, and it's been changed. Same thing over here, I gotta do the same. I'm gonna edit my text. Look at the link. I want to change it to an email. And I'm just gonna control V, paste it or right click. And then right over here, let's click on done. And now it's linked and you'll see it's linked. How do I know? It's actually underlined in both particular places. So great. Let's go ahead and save it, publish it, and preview it now. Uh, okay, so that looks so far so good. So I can fill all these and hit the submit button and check my own email and see that it comes through, but I'll let you test that out. Uh, if I test on the link right here, what this will do is this will actually uh, send this off to, um, say, an Outlook program or some other program that you actually have. So I'll let you go ahead and do that. In the meantime, work on your links and your contact page. And uh, in the next video, we're going to explore on how to actually put in uh, Microsoft Documents or Google Documents for that matter. So good luck and see you in the next video.